dividend bins. It's me, it's Kelly19. Welcome back to let's play another episode of Vagrant Story. Don't worry about the fact that my MP and my HP looks different from the last video. It's not like I lost the recordings or uh, wasn't able to record um, Vagrant Story for like six years. It's fine, don't worry about it. I, I may or may not have totally fixed it, so it's fine. Do not worry about it. This is gonna be Trixie. So I need to do like a squint sideways jump to get across this gap. Really? Really? That's just mean. I think all that paralysis does means I can't attack anything, which is, you know, kind of annoying. Do I have anything to cure that? Uh. Oh, really? I have to do this again? Okay. A bit rude. I guess it resets the room. Anyway, how are you, how are you guys doing? It's been a long time since I played some uh, some Vagrant Story. I'm going to be back doing a lot more recording and things because um, we need to get we need to get back into the YouTube thing. So please expect a lot more content from me. It's going to be good. We're going to have good times. It's fine. I actually, I think we're actually fairly close to the end of this game because I remember that cutscene being where Guildenstern in the last video where Guildenstern comes up the, uh... Oh my god. I can make this jump to save my life. Maybe I need to be close to the edge. Nope, that's not where I wanted you to put that. Yeah, I remember that, that clip with Guildenstern and Wahabi being fairly close to the end because he looked up at the... I think it was uh, one of the characters. Looked up and uh, saw the root inverse on the ceiling and that's uh i know that that's near the end of the game because ah. i really don't want to use a fairy draft for this but i can't have this episode be <laughs> 20 minutes of me trying to make a jump Maybe if i move it over one that's probably where i'm supposed to put it Nope, that was awful. Uh, hap! Nope. Man, I'm really not making this jump at all. Because I can't even... Because this has to be where I have to put it, right? I mean, if, if all else fails, I can check my items to see if I have any fairy drafts, because then I can just use... I can just use that to, to make the jump, you know? He hap! Let's see what items I have that I can actually use. Oh yeah, and don't actually worry about me having like a completely different weapon, completely different sets of armor from the last video. Again, it's not like it's been uh, like six years since I last recorded something for this, for this game. Believe you me, when I was setting this up and I actually found like a proper emulator to use it because I can't use my OG. my OG PlayStation 1 because it uh, no longer works. It's uh, completely broken and finding them is a pain in the backside, shall we say. Yeah, I don't even have anything that will help with jumping so I just have to, you know, stop sucking and actually make this jump. Nope. That's not where I wanted that to go. Oh my god. Because that's the, the problem with this game. This game works in blocks as you can tell by the uh, block puzzle that we're having to do. So, there we go. Okay, now. Oh, I need to step back and hit these boxes. And I need to jump up here and go through this door first because there's probably going to be more prizes through here. And, uh... Oh, there, there's a boss in here. Hello. Or, like, a mini-boss. Yep. Well, you know what that means. It's time to apply all of the buffs. <laughs> Again. <laughs> ah, man. I love how that is how this game plays out, for, like, the most part. It's like, as soon as you enter a room, buff yourself with Heracles and Prestasia, degenerate and tarnish the enemy if you can, and then just wail on until until the game's done. 
Because I don't think I've ever tried to be like a magic caster in this game because it just, it doesn't work for me. Vulcan lines. So it's fine if they hit me, because I'm actually okay with that, because a big part of like the damage that I do is um, having Raging Ache. The Raging Ache battle ability is really, really good, because then you can intentionally lower your own health and then whack them to do more damage. Ah, uh, yeah, see, so any the living damage. Great. Give me my MP back. Hell yeah, thank you. Right, let's continue to wail on. Because there is a fairly like decent chance that I'll get crits with this sword. I'm not sure why, but it just it seems to be working that I'm getting a decent amount. No, don't steal my MP. How dare you? Oh. <laughs> you only stole four. It's alright. Okay. I forgive you. There we go. I got that 4 MP bag, buddy. There you go. You did it. <laughs> you drained my mind. Oh, man. I need to stop sucking at my combos. Come on, now. There we go. That's a good one. Like I said, this sword's actually real good at getting crits, and I'm not sure why. So let's heal up. And then open this chest and see what fun prizes we have. But I just want to say, like, one, thank you for, like, still hanging out, even though my channel's kind of been on and off for a long time, just because life has been kicking my ass for a while. And two, I absolutely love Vagrant Story, and I'm really happy that I get to play it. There are a lot, this emulator that I found as well. Um, what is this part of direct attacks? Ooh. Drain heart, cool. That was a really good chest. Um, yeah, this game... So I found an emulator that... Uh, it lets me play pretty much all the PlayStation 1 games that I want, which is great. So it means that I'm probably going to be able to go back to... Stuff that we missed before. So, like, Soul Reaver. I can go back and, like, actually play Soul Reaver because... The emulator, well, it wasn't an emulator that I had before, it was on Steam, and for some reason it just doesn't work on Steam. It like crashes something horribly. Okay, just don't climb up, that's fine. So now that we have the emulator and it works flawlessly, because this game is like a big test for it as well. Okay, don't climb up again. I guess I have to like turn the camera. Yeah, so because this this game was like a big test for me. Then, uh, for for to see if this emulator will work, it works flawlessly. So I think we're gonna be like properly getting into the games that I played through my childhood. So I think I think I might not do Soul Reaver for the time being. I think I might go through Blood Omen because Blood Omen was the first in that series. And then it's Blood Omen 2, and then Soul Reaver, and then Soul Reaver. So we go through the story, like, canonically, if that makes sense. Oh, hey, it's the Ogre King. Just, you know, sitting in a room waiting. What that means. Let's buff ourselves. Woo! See if I remember correctly, this guy is not fun. He is a fairly strong ogre. Even though, you know, the previous ogres weren't fun to fight against either, but, you know, take me again, I suppose. Because he's going to buff himself. Or he's going to debuff me. That works too. No. My strength. apply that to me, because then I should be able to degenerate and tarnish him. Yeah, there we go. I do like how he holds a great sword, like a, like a one-handed sword, as if it's like 
nothing to you. Although, I still do nothing to you. I need my MP back, baby. No, don't degenerate me again. We'll do it. No. No. Oh, it missed. Hell yeah. Um, well, I remember. So, um, is this is going to remove the prestige from it. Okay. Heart. Use the sex of non-magical attacks for 20% must be equipped on a weapon. That's real magic attacks for 20%. I think I have to have that on because I think my shield has the one that reflects 60%. That uh, 20% rather. Whichever one I'm using. Evading magical attacks by 20%. Yeah, so. So they're both making it so that they miss more. Slightly so increases power against beasts. I don't know if he's a beast. I keep forgetting that I have to like take it off and then say okay and yes, that's what I wanted to do. I appreciate that this game has like lots of like do you want to do this options, but sometimes it's a little bit ridiculous. But yeah, I don't think the uh The Ogre King is a beast, I'm not sure. I'll have to check. Invading sounds. Mm -hmm. So, for the spell, though, I think I have to have. I have to have that gem on that reduces. that increases my magic by 20. I have to have Hellraiser on because if not, I'm going to start missing myself. I don't think I care about the success rate. So, what was the other one I got? Our towers increase the power of direct attacks. Yeah, that just increases physical. My my blade's light. So. Yeah, we'll try it with beasts and see see how we go. Yeah, I knew that was good. Yeah, he is a beast. So. Great. Uh, okay. In that case, let's tarnish him because that should lower his stats. We'll attack him again. See if I can get some more MP back, and then I need to prestige myself again. Yeah, I just do nothing to him. I'm gonna have to use a couple of break arts just to lower my own health, just to start doing that. Because I don't think. Even having Prestasia and Heracles and Mojave is really gonna do much for me here. Let's try him. What about Vile Scar? What was that? 20? Ew, not that great. Yeah, there we go. War is, war is a bit better. 65% chance to hit, though. Be, that might not be good. Yeah, shit. Rude. I only have 15 risk, though. It's not even that high. Okay. Yeah, that's slowly good yourself. Three with 80? Yeah, sure, we'll take it. Just because it's doing like three things here. It's damaging him, hurting me, and like allowing me to do stronger combos. Let's go with the combo. There, I wasn't sure if I wanted to. I don't actually care if I miss, to be fair. Because my main attack is not doing the damages. 
No, don't degenerate me. No, don't do it. Stop debuffing me. This is why I keep... I suppose it doesn't matter if I do that, but I'm just going to do it because it'll force him to constantly keep trying to degenerate me. It's not like the strength up is actually helping me in this fight. Because again, it's raging egg coming through for the for the clutch. You know what I mean? Because I'm actually quite scared of this guy because I'm not sure what he can do as an attack. Because he hasn't actually hit me yet. So I'm just scared that like he'll just hit me with like a magic spell like volcano or something and it'll just do like a bajillion damage and I'm like well I'm dead stop degenerating me actually no keep degenerating me because it's not actually hindering me at all so you know keep doing that friendo because in the in the meantime I'm just going to keep wailing on him and taking my MD back Fuck it, let's go. Yeah. Get the longest chain possible. Ah, which is nine. I don't seem to only ever really get to nine in a minute. That dies. Let's go for the longest chain, let's do it. Up by 27. Okay, that regenerates quite strong. Right, and he heals me with like five. So my my regenerate is not great. Just apply Heracles again. You know, just because apparently he keeps getting. He's really upset that I have that. Oh, there, there we go. There's the powerful spell. Uh oh. I am very dead. Oh, okay, you hit me twice. Come on, you fuck. Don't care. The problem is, if I go for... Hey, there we go. If I go for any other of his body parts, like his arms or legs or what have you, you just miss all the time. You have to hit him with the body. Whew. That was kind of cool. Smashed it, boys. First try, not even close. Ooh, more strength. Hell yeah. Shavona. Organize the inventory. Oh, I have so many, like... I don't think I need any of this, like, gloves and stuff, so let's discard that. Because I am wearing Damascus gloves, so that's the best in the game, so let's get rid of that. Sure. And then we'll take all the parts. Ooh, a new ability. What do I get? Crap. Hmm, even worse. Alright, let's 
take dulling impact, I guess. Because then if we get one more, then I think there is one more after we get these final two. And that is good. But in the meantime, I am actually going to like heal up off screen and then we'll we'll take this on next time. So uh, I'm Skinly19. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye.